Hi again! So as promised, here is the second part of my videos around playing with maps in ALE. So uh, in this video, I will show you how to upload maps using the calibration mode in ALE. So in the previous map, if you remember well, I show you how to use Airwave and Visual RF to upload the maps in ALE. Now we'll use the calibration mode. So first, we need to connect to the ALE server. So let's do it. Okay, so let me connect to my AD server. So again, this is the first time I connect to my AD server. So I will have the wizard. Okay, so here is the wizard. As I already said, there are three modes. First one, without location. Second one, with location, but simple one, with a wave. And the last one, location using the calibration mode. So we'll use this one for this video. So click on next. So next step is to add the controller information or instant access point information to send uh, information from the controller to ALE server. So again, I will use my controller, username and password. Okay. And we, I will also use RTLS in order to, uh, to get the location information. So on port 5050 and with a key, Okay. Okay, and so next, we can select some options. So, for example, as for my setup, I don't have many lo many access points per, per floor. I will enable the single AP location calculation, and also I will disable anonymization. Anonymization, and yeah, perhaps enable the offense or. No, let's, uh, let's do it like this. You can also change from feet to meter if you want, add an NTP server, and so on. So finally, you need to upload the license if it is not already done. Okay, and when you click on finish, you can launch your ALE server, and your ALE server is available. You can see it is okay, but there is no positioning database. So to configure your positioning database, you need to calibrate it. So first thing to do for calibration is to configure this on the ALE server. So if you go to same URL, but you replace this by calibration, and you enter the same credential as usual. So just a reminder, default credential is admin and password welcome one, two, three. Okay, and here you have a um, wizard in order to help you to configure the calibration. So you can see there are some slides in order to show you what you need to do. Okay, so I will delete uh, what I already done in the past. Uh, so delete. Okay. Okay, so uh, for the creation of maps, First thing you need to do is to add a campus. So I will add a campus, which is my home, for example. Ah, it's already here. So delete from the beginning, as I said. Okay, so I create a new campus, which I will call Ambonil, which is my city. And description, city for fab home. Okay. Okay, once you have your campus, you can now add a new location and some new maps. So I go back here and I click on add a new building. Okay. So here you can find your uh, your city, your location. So let me put this. Okay. Okay. So here it is. And if I look, I should see my home, which is this one. I put a name, Fab Home, for example, Street, uh, this one. Okay, okay, state is not in US. So let's say it is uh, an office, for example. And I put in my campus on Benil. Okay, next. Here you can upload your map. So you can upload the picture of your maps. So I have it somewhere. Let me search a little bit. Where is it? Uh, here it is. So here is for level one. 
So let's number from one and level one. Okay. Second one. Okay. And third one. Okay. Level two and level three. Ah. Two and three. Okay, so my picture are uploaded to the ALE server. So now I need to position it based on the um, map geolocalization geolocaliz of my house. So you will see another help. You can play the video in order to help you. So I already know what I want to do. Okay, so you can see the plan and the map I just uploaded. And at the background, you can see the kind of Google map. So you need to position this on your real location. So let me turn it first, like this, and then I will make this and mm, yeah, this seems not so bad. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so here is uh, my first floor. I can click on all in order to help me to position the other ones. So level two seems okay, and level three, yeah, it is a little bit smaller, so I need to uh, readjust a little bit. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, again, a little bit more. Let me verify. It's again. Okay, so it is okay. So now my level are well positioned based on the geolocalization. So next step is to add the routes you want to use in order to calibrate and also the, the path where you can find the people. So again, another radio. And to do this, I will zoom a little bit and do it for, for example, my first floor. Okay, so let's begin from the entrance. Okay, I go there. Okay, I can go there, here. And you push on escape in order to close the routes you are adding. And I will add another one from there. Uh, there is a door, in fact, here. So I put a point here. Okay, so you put your routes like this. To the stairs okay and so on so i will put all the routes and i will come back after to uh, to continue so here i just finished the first floor and i just want to show you how to go from one level to another one and it is important to do so so to do this you select a point from your uh, first floor okay and after that you go to the second one here and you put where you arrive at the second stair second uh, level like this okay and after again you can add your uh, your pass so let me do this and i come back at the end so now i finish with the pass editing so you can see third floor second one and first one so i click on save and next and the next one is to define some um, area you want to identify on your maps. Okay, so I approve here. So for example, here, let's say like this. Here is the kitchen. Category, I don't care. Okay. Then here, I have the dining room. Okay. Okay. And after that, uh, I have the toilets here. Yeah. 
Antoine, so I will prepare this and again I'll come back. So I just finished uh, to edit uh, the geofences. So now if I click on next, I will see uh, the summary and, and also um, ALE tell me that now I need to calibrate on my phone. So there is again some slide in order to help you to calibrate on your phone. So basically what you need is uh, um, app Android app which is called Aruba Now Logger. So once you have downloaded it, you can open and you can uh, calibrate on your phone. So for the calibration, you can use the admin user of your ALI server or you can use the login which was created here, delegate to, and with the password, you can click here. So I will do like this. So now let's open the calibration tool on my smartphone. So on my smartphone, if I go to my ALI Aruba Now Logger here, you can see here the information. So you don't need to put anything here, but I will put home. Here I will put the user created by my ALI server and password I will use the one created here. So this one. And don't forget also to change here the server URL. So here is the one you need to use, which is HTTPS um, IP of your AAD server slash calibration. So you don't need to use a now cloud account, you can use directly this. I click on OK and I click on Go. Here you can see the location, the building I added to my ALE server. So if I click here, this will download the maps. Okay, and then you can see on your smartphone the path you added on your ALE calibration server. And so you can navigate and push some place mark by pushing on your smartphone. And so you can calibrate with your smartphone. And so let me show you the beginning. So first I will zoom. OK. You can turn with your finger. OK. And then you can begin to record. So let me search where I am. Oh, I'm not in the correct. OK. So to begin recording, you just need to click on play. You place your place mark. First place mark here is good. And then you walk and you try to keep the dot on the path. OK, and so on. So I will finish and I will come back to show you the result. So once you have finished recording your um, pass so to calibrate, so every blue line is no green, you can save it like this. OK, and this will upload the information in your ALE server. So to synchronize Oops, sorry. I'm to synchronize your uh, measurement with your ALE server. You just need to click here on your smartphone, and this will upload. So you can confirm. Let me refresh because it is not so good. So you just need to confirm. Yes, and this will upload the measurement. So now everything is synchronized. And so you can finish the setup or your, on your ALE server. So from ALE server, you can see now you have one upload, one survey log, and so you can generate the positioning database. So if I click here, this will generate the positioning database, and so I will be able to use my ALE server. So once finished, you can see this kind of output, so you can download the output. OK, and also what you can do, you can back to your calibration. You can see the path, what is recorded and so on. You can see in green and so on. So if you go back like this to your ALE uh, dashboard, you will see that the PDB is not available. This is because I missed one step, which is on this uh, now cloud uh, calibration mode and so on. If you go back to your campus, you can see here API keys, and in order to use your PDB, you can see no prod, no prod PDB. If you want to use your PDB, you need to publish it. So you click here, 
And so this time you'll be able to see your PDB in your AELE dashboard and so to use it. Okay, successful. So go back to AELE dashboard and you need to regenerate the PDB. Okay, and so now. Okay, so floor plan is okay, so no location is starting, so we need to wait a little bit more. But at the end, everything will be okay. And so we'll be able to see this in the map. So, okay, now everything is okay, and so if I go to the maps, I can see, for example, level 1, so there is not yet any location shared. Okay, level 2, for example, I can see two associated clients here. So everything is working. So I think I share all my experience. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. So don't hesitate to post a um, comment uh, in uh, for this video. And uh, um, I hope I see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.